I wanted to showcase the Berber 40 scenario, um, but I decided to do it a little bit different way. Anyone who's paid any attention to any of my previous video demos has a decent idea on how the interface works, how the mechanics work, um, everything you need to know about clicking to move, initiate combat, resolve combat, um, take care of all those kinds of things. So for this demo, I decided to forego the, um, the interface and, and just show how the campaign unfolded. So this is basically the historical setup well, you know, more, more or less the historical setup. Um, the Italian units have moved into their jumping off positions. The British units have set up their defenses outside of Berber, and uh, we're ready to go. Let's see if I can make this thing work the way that I want to. We're going to see here's the eve of invasion, and then we'll move over here. This is the Axis combat phase. So we can see that um, Italian units have started moving over here to run down the coast, which is pretty well undefended at this time. But uh, what they are about to discover, as happened historically, is that is not much of a road, and it's going to be very slow going to get down the coast. Meanwhile, um, spearheaded <laughs> by this Italian light tank unit, along with an artillery unit that has eight movement points, um, that, that spearhead of those two units, the tanks and the artillery, can actually get all the way from the border right up to the Tug Argan Gap. So they're going to be attacking here. In fact, I've already uh, initiated this in the combat phase. Meanwhile, the Somali Light Infantry are headed down here. They're actually um, out of supply, but they're carrying some supply points with them. Uh, that's going to make a difference here eventually. And then the main bulk of the Italian infantry is started on the road and following behind on the way to Tug Argon Gap. That's just as far as those guys could get. All right, so uh, in the combat phase, the uh, spearhead of the light tanks and the artillery attacked Tug Argon Gap in August 1. Um, and that was defended by, I believe, um, I think there were two British battalions there, maybe just one British battalion. I've forgotten already. Anyway, so let's see what happens. All right. So um, at the end of the Axis turn, the uh, after that attack was made, uh, the Italians got a defender retreat, and the British retreated here, which enabled them to maintain... A, a solid line protecting Berber. Otherwise, and keep in mind that because all of these are battalion sized units for the Brits, they don't have any zones of control, and those tanks probably could have waltzed right on through there into Berber and uh, concluded this whole campaign on the first turn, or darn close to it. Anyway, so that's the, uh, the end of the Axis August 1 turn, and we'll click over here, and we'll see that the British units have now pulled back a bit, and they've decided it's a little too early to evacuate their forces, but they've pulled back. They still have a solid line, and they put, uh, I believe that's the Somaliland Camel Corps uh, is defending Berber just in case there's another break in the line and the Italian tanks try to go waltzing in there. There, there will at least be someone defending Berber. Okay, so that ends August 1. We go over to August 2, and the Italian units, as you can see, are moving slowly down the coast here. These guys cut inland a little bit, which was faster going to get to here, but um, still very slow and not really enough to make a difference coming down the coastal route like that. Uh, here we have the Somali light infantry still pushing in from the Italian right flank, but... Um, Although the, there's not much of a defense here, there's not much of an attack here either, so there's not really a whole lot they can do at this point. So the main attack is going to be made here by these two. But first of all, we're going to attack here in an effort to ca for the Italians to capture this hex and have this guy surrounded before the other attack goes in. 
So that's the uh, the first combat that's happening, the first attack that's happening in the Axis combat phase. And that, in fact, uh, got a defender retreat. So the um, Punjabi battalion that was defending there had to retreat. The Italians advanced. And these guys are now surrounded because, un unlike the Brits, the Italians do have zones of control. So now the main attack, in including the tanks, is going in here, so there will be at least um, some favorable modifier for the Italians because they have some tanks going in, um, and most of that stuff is supported as well by artillery against the British defenders that don't have any artillery and are not supported. All right, so we see there at the end of the Axis combat phase, and that actually ruled a defender eliminated. So all the, all the Brits there were destroyed and are off the map. Um, and if we click one more time, now we have the end of the exploitation phase. So this is just the Italian light tanks. They're, they're the only units the Italians have that can move in exploitation. So they advanced here next to Berbera. And in a sense, that's, you know, sticking their nose out. That's not a very strong unit. And it's not supported. Um, you know, they, and, and in theory, the Brits could counterattack and, um, you know, may, maybe destroy the real, the only real offensive threat that the Italians have going here is, is those light tanks. Um, so let's go on to the next frame. And here, um, this, this was my, my fault. It had nothing to do with the scenario, just the way I had my uh, window set up on the computer that this really popped up over here, but it ran off the edge of what I re was recording. So I actually went in with some uh, image editing software and just moved this back over here to a place where it could be read. So, so this is the defenses of Berber right now. And the, uh, it has been reinforced because on this turn, August 2, um, a couple of new British battalions arrived. There was uh, another battalion of uh, Punjabi infantry and a battalion of the Black Watch arrived. So that, that gave the, the Brits a little more strength. And while it might have been more sensible to go ahead and evacuate Berber right now before things collapse totally, I decided, well, what, what the heck, let's see what we can do. So we'll click one more. Here's the combat phase. And remember, these are the Italian light -like tanks that stuck their nose out. They're not very strong. And uh, all the British units that have an attack factor are gathered right here. Uh, these guys couldn't get into Berber, nor could these guys get into Berber, and they don't have an attack factor. Um, but all the ones with an attack factor are going in against the Italian light -like tanks to see what they could do. And it turned out that uh, that attack came up is no effect. So there's nothing they could do. Um, now it's the Axis turn again, and they are at the point where they can actually make an attack on Berber. However, interesting thing is that uh, at, at this point, uh, September 1, the Italians are running out of supply. Uh, they don't have enough supply to put all of their attacking units in attack supply. Over here we have the Somali light infantry. They started over here came around here, and as the British withdrew, they've moved up here. They've been uh, carrying and husbanding their supply points, so they've actually been out of general supply, uh, but now they're going to burn some of the supply that they're carrying to put themselves in attack supply to help support the main attack that's coming in here. Uh, some of these guys are in attack supply. Some of them are in general supply, uh, but this is the big attack to try to drive the Brits out of the key city here, Berbera. So we'll give that a click. And here we go at the end of the Axis combat phase. And they did indeed take the town of Berbera. And I actually, I don't recall if that was a DE or a DR, but yeah, e either way, it ended up the same thing with those weak units uh, with no place to retreat. And they were all eliminated. So here we go. Um, that, that took a little bit longer than historical. Um, it went more or less the way that the historical campaign went. Um, and, it, and it seems like it's just a very small, short and sweet, um, mildly entertaining 
kind of way of playing around with um, quite minuscule forces in unusual terrain in East Africa. So that's the end of my demo of the Berbera 40 playtests. Thank you.